Hi everyone, my name is Pamela Meta, and I am a board certified orthopedic surgeon in the Bay Area in California. And today I'm gonna talk to you why you need an x-ray if you're having pain in a joint. If you like my content here, please make sure you do like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below what future topics you'd like me to cover. Okay, so you have pain in your joint or your bone and you wanna go see your physician about it. And you know that you didn't break your bone. So why is it that you're always going to need an x-ray? I'm gonna tell you today. Okay, first off, let's go over what an x-ray is. An x-ray is a picture of your bones and it transmits very low radiation. Bones or thick material appear as white or opaque densities on an x-ray. The air or the spaces show up as black. And finally, muscles, tendons, and other tissue show up as gray on an x-ray. I'm gonna tell you why you need an x-ray as your first diagnostic tool. So the number one thing I look at when I'm looking at an x-ray is your joint spaces and your alignment. I can gather a ton of knowledge just looking at the contour of your bones, seeing if there's any bony spurs, and looking at the joint spaces to see if they are narrowed, which compartment they're narrowed in, and if there's any misalignment of all of the bones. I need that total picture to be able to see what's going on around the bones and in the spaces. Particularly with lower extremity joints, I need a weight-bearing x-ray. What does a weight-bearing x-ray mean? A weight-bearing x-ray is when you are standing upright. That's an x-ray where I can tell what kind of pressure and what joint forces are acting upon your joints. It is so incredibly different to take a picture of your knee while you're weight bearing and standing versus when you're lying down on a table as an MRI would do as well. I want you to look at this picture. On the picture on the left, we're looking at a knee when a patient is lying down. You can see that there's a ton of space between the joints, between the femur and the tibia. And this x-ray over here on the right side is where the patient is weight-bearing. They're standing upright. As we do when we walk, we run, we spend most of the time standing and in activity. In this x-ray, you can see how the joint is narrowed. So this is giving us a clearer picture of what is going on inside that joint. And oftentimes, you'll come to see a doctor, you'll have an MRI with you, it'll already be done, and you're confused. Why is it that I still need an x-ray? Well, all those things are something we see on an x-ray versus an MRI. The joint spaces, the alignment, the bone contour, the spurs, any kind of swelling, dislocation, malalignment, subluxation, all of these things can view better on an x-ray versus an MRI. Other reasons that we may need an x-ray. If you've had previous surgery, we can see a lot of things going on with your joint on an x-ray. We can see any hardware that may be broken or malaligned. We can see a fracture that has healed. Has it healed in anatomical position? Is it angulated? Is it shortened? All of these things are better seen on an x-ray. We can see malunions. We can see nonunions. We can see the quality of your bone. You may have a mass or a benign tumor on your bone or surrounding your joint. This can easily be seen by an x-ray as well. Some benign tumors that are best seen on x-ray are an aneurysmal bone cyst, an ABC, a non-ossifying fibroma, NOF, a unicameral bone cyst, a UBC, and an osteochondroma. And finally, I know you're sure you didn't break a bone, but your bone could have a small fracture, a stress fracture, or something that's malaligned. This can all be best seen on an, on an x-ray. Let's take this distal radius x-ray as an example. I can see so many things about this break. Yes, we know it's broken, but I can see the amount of displacement, the amount of angulation, the amount of shortening, all of these things are incredibly important in making a surgical plan, or if we decide against surgery, what your chances are of regaining full range of motion, strength, and a minimization of pain. Sometimes when you sprain your ankle, you could have a small avulsion fracture of your lateral malleolus. That's a small chip off of your bone. 
Of course, you can see this on an MRI, but it's best to see on an X-ray where you can see the alignment of that avulsion fracture as, as it's related to the rest of the bones. So I hope I've been able to clear up why an X-ray is so incredibly important for when you go seek medical attention about a pain in your joint or bone. If you like my content here, please do like and subscribe and leave in the comments below additional content you'd like to see from me in the future. Until next time, guys. Thank you.